Hi, and happy new year. I'm Kimberly Dinwiddie, the county's public information officer. Our subject for this week's Clackamas County update is our mental health, and we are joined by Stephanie Jefferson. Welcome, Stephanie. Hi, Kimberly. Thanks for having me today. So people are still suffering through this pandemic, and things still continue to seem awful. Can you please give us some tips on how we can cope and support our mental health during this difficult time? Yes. Yeah, we all recognize it's been a long year, but we can't lose hope. And let me stress, it's absolutely normal to feel stress, grief, and stress under these circumstances. There are many positive steps that we can take to help manage these feelings. Um, I think one main one to remember is getting enough rest, Um, trying to maintain a regular schedule, try to maintain healthy, balanced meals, getting exercise and getting outside for some fresh air. And remember, we are social creatures. We reach out when we need to feel a connection. So I encourage others to do that when they're feeling lonely or isolated. Phone or connect online with a friend, family, or community-based supports. I know I'm doing that a lot. And yet sometimes for many, that just doesn't seem to be enough. I know that the county has resources to help residents. You're right. And you're not alone. And we are here for you. Um, We have our crisis and support line that's available 24-7 at 503-655-8585. We also have mental health support based out of our urgent mental health walk-in center, Clackamas MHC, where we offer virtual telehealth appointments um, available Monday through Saturday. So please don't hesitate to call and reach out for support. Thank you, Stephanie, and thank you for joining us. Please stay safe, and we will see you next week.